If you were ultra rich, what frivolous service would you pay for? I'd hire actors to really duck with my co-workers, friends, family, etc. Like if I was ultra rich, I'd obviously leave my current job to focus on experiencing my dope billionaire lifestyle. But I wouldn't just give my two weeks and leave all vanilla. No, this is where the actors come in. I'd wait until we are back in the office after this quarantine. When things are back to normal, I'd just plan this whole thing to go off flawlessly. So there I am, in my office, surrounded by my co-workers. And then this loud buzzing sound starts. It's a helicopter. Really loud, like it's right next to the building. Me and my co-workers go to the window and there is a Black Hawk, civilian model S76, but painted black to look military, helicopter landing in the parking lot, in full view of the office. Everyone is now at the window checking it out. As it lands in that parking lot, a caravan of blacked out subs roll up to the building's front door simultaneously. Out of the helicopter, four hot model women in bad or outfits hop out and join the guards, full suits and earpieces and fake weapons, and come up to my office. The women are like Charles Angels type badder and smoking hot. They come in after the guards secure the building and radio that it's all clear. The lead woman comes in and goes to reception, asks for me. They approach me, flanked by guards, in front of everyone. Your country needs you, and I respond I left that life behind. I promised my fiancé I wouldn't do wet work anymore. I'm riding a desk, babs. She pushes further. We need you. Side Sigmalima just went dark. And still I protest. I can't get Johnson to do it. But sir, Johnson was there when it went dark. And I relent. Damn it, not Johnson. Let's go. Then I get flanked by the angels, who are then flanked by the guards, and we move out, with the guards loading up the sub, and the angels and I loading into the helicopter. Subs peel out, and the helicopter lifts off, heads out over the horizon. Then, I never talk to my cowalkers again. I have another guard actor come a week or two later for my personal effects and that's that. I leave them wondering WTF was that. For life. And I'd be a legend for those people forever. An international man of mystery. I love everything about this, but this was my absolute favorite part, I never talk to my cowalkers again. I'd have my own personal chef. I love good food, but cooking can be a bit of a hail sometimes. Also if the chef is ordering all the ingredients and cooking all the food it would make it a lot easier to eat healthy and stick to diets. I would actually prefer to have a sous chef instead of a chef. That way I can do every fun part and have them do all prep work. Plus have them clean the dishes and come up with new ideas for food and shopping on my behalf. Best of all worlds. Instead of having a dollar sign 100k watch, I'd just pay a butler to follow me around and tell me what time it is. Excuse me Winston, what is the time? The time is half past the hour of 11, sir. Thank you, Winston. My pleasure, sir. Then I'd hand him a crisp 20. You want to talk about having a timepiece as a status symbol? I got it. And you can deck him out with watches that are mad dope, so you can have the best of both worlds. A town crier to walk around my neighborhood saying to Ocklick and all's well. Nutsy, shouting, 1 o'clock and all's well. Sheriff of Nottingham, clock chimes 3 times. Nutsy, you better set your brain ahead 2 hours. Nutsy, right. Hey, Sheriff, does that there mean adding or subtracting? Sheriff of Nottingham, oh, just forget everything. Nutsy, yes sir, yes sir. Sheriff of Nottingham, Nutsy, how am I supposed to sleep with you yelling all's well all the time? Edit, formatting edit 2, thank you kind stranger for the gold. My top comment is a quote from my favorite Disney movie thanks everyone. I'd probably get managers a couple times a week. Just get a personal morse and get managed 7 days a week. All those subscription box services that look really cool but are ultimately monumental wastes of money. For example, the international snack boxes. Yes, they're such a waste of money but it's like getting a present every month. The powers that be keep showing me the Lunarly subscription box and it's exactly what I don't need but I still want it. I would buy the distribution rights to all the 80s slash 90s slash 2000 s TV shows I liked that were never released on DVD or streaming and put them out in HD, mostly so I can watch them. K. 
can I get some Pete and Pete? Along the same lines, I've decided that, if I win the lottery, I'm not going to quit my job. I'm going to start speaking my mind, until I get fired. That would take me all of about 20 minutes, 15 of which would be me laughing, before I said what I wanted to. Personal shampooer. I love getting my hair washed. The Boyle Special. World's largest greenhouse filled with all manner of fruit and veg purely cultivated and propagated for flavor, attended to by an army of botanists and gardeners. I'm so sick of the flavorless chis in supermarkets. I want some higher levels of QC. Sometimes I fantasize about building special greenhouses to grow things like coffee, chocolate, vanilla, cinnamon, etc. But here in the States, just on the off chance there is a mile of economic collapse and I can no longer get my tasters imported. I mean really, what's the point of surviving some sort of apocalypse without coffee and chocolate? Someone to clean up after my husky puppy. Also, a husky puppy. All of these answers should involve the merely very rich. Like pay Kate Winslet do it. I love Snoop Dogg and his joint roller. He pays someone dollar sign 40k USD a year, just to roll joints for him 35 hours a week. People think it's just a dream walk in the park. But that man works Snoop claims that his blunt roller can tell by his tone of voice or facial expression that has going to ask for one and has it finished by the time has addressed. That takes skill. A distant low rumble of thunder every time someone said my name. Failing that, probably an air fryer from Costco. Dude, I got my wife an air fryer from Costco a while ago, I think it was like 80 bucks. Not too expensive at all. Someone to wake me up really nice and gently in the morning. Like turning the lights red, opening the blinds maybe, setting a cup of coffee next to me. And then that same person to tuck me in at night. I can't think of a better frivolous service. I mean, with smart bulbs and blinds and a coffee machine you can kind of have that now. I'm a type 1 diabetic. I would hire someone to manage my diabetes such as planning my meals, calculating my dose. Treating my lows. I'd pay a person to be my pancreas. Edit because I'm annoyed. Type 1 is a non-stop daily rigorous and time-consuming disease. I have all the bells and whistles, CGM, and prefer my pence. I don't care for the pump. What I really would like is a cure. Second edit please forgive me if I'm doing something wrong, but I'm kinda new to commenting. I enjoy lurking. I'm almost in tears because I can't believe how ducking awesome it is to be heard. I feel like I've been hugged by 4,000 people. Thank you so much, and I wish you healthy and long lives, even you normies. 3 edit thank you for the gold. I don't know what to do with it, but it made my day. I'd pay a person to be my pancreas. R slash brand the sentence. A housekeeper. I ducking hate housework. Not rich but there was a time in me and my wife's life where we both worked a lot and so twice a week we had somebody to come in and clean. It is the best thing ever. And not that expensive. I always wanted to live in a blimp. It would be an old fashioned looking dirigible, like from the 19th century, but modern behind all appearance with a balcony and floor section made in plexigla for the view. Like people living on a boat, but better. What I want is a battleship. So on the outside it looks like a battleship, but on the inside it's a decked out yacht. If that's too big you'll settle for a destroyer or something. A librarian. S slash he would know my tastes and would seek out books, articles, etc. That would be of interest to me. New releases and clicks. They'd just be there waiting as soon as I finish the last one. When I was a kid there was a local bookstore and the owner was just like this. She knew every own's taste and could always recommend something. Edit. It makes me so happy to see folks memories of librarians and independent booksellers. I would donate like 50 million to my college to construct a new academic building, but they would have to name it something ridiculous e.g. Janav's Thuale Big Penis Research Center. Then on the entrance you got to put a plaque slash sign that says whale come. Private luxury airship. Duck the yacht, it can only go where there's water. Seriously, at one point airships flew from Europe to America. Why do rich people buy chesty yachts when they can build one of those and just go anywhere? Landing might be problematic though, d. Still won't be YouTube premium. When I die, 
Clicking that skip trial button will be the thing that I will have done most often in my life. Probably already is actually. A personal instant. I really hate going to the post office, grocery shopping, getting my car washed, and filling it up, and other fiddly errands of that nature. If I had the money I'd definitely pay someone else to do that chis for me. I wanna be the instant. I was an executive instant for a bit, and running errands, and making some owns demands happen at no cost to me was awesome. All the power none of the pressure, to do anything other than simple tasks. Hire a bunch of people. To be a living chessboard edit, so many of y'all want it to be a battle to the death. What the hell? Seriously I don't want to put humans against humans to the death for this. That's kind of ducked up. My inspiration was the Simpsons not hunted. If I did this in this extremely hypothetical situation I'd want to have like two or three sets of people to take shifts. And I'd like to pay them full time, and be able to give them all health benefits. I'd want to treat them well. Make sure the royal piss boy doesn't look like you. My friend's mother-in-law is obsessed with a particular pop star in the UK. She's commented several times on how much I look like him. A lot of people have over the years, so I guess I must do. Too bad he's not known for being good looking. Anyway, if I were itch, I'd wait till she has a milestone birthday or something, then sing one of the guy's songs for her. Midway through, he'd come out and start singing it too. It'd blow her mind. That sounds like a totally fun frivolous service to pay for. Edit. No one's guessed right yet. Edit 2. Someone got it. James Blunt. Edit. Guessing the gold means I'm right. You're beautiful op. A driver and really comfortable car. I commute an hour to an hour and a half each way. And if I could read or sleep in the car instead of driving, that would be amazing. You would still work. Removed. Does, does this insurance exist? I know what I want to do for my next job. I don't know if it's frivolous. It kinda seems like it is, when you are pretty much paycheck to paycheck, but it'd like to hire a trainer, and have regular gym time. Maybe take some yoga please, to try and fix my back. Yoga helped my lower back pain so much, I do the 26 Bikram poses, very ineptly, at home and it has seriously changed my life. A fresh, new soft pair of socks every day. There's a story on Reddit somewhere where a guy did this and ended up with a pretty bad rash on his feet after a month or so because of some chemical on new socks that comes off after you wash them. Call me a madman, but a dedicated team of Maliv men to not injure criminals, but to just humiliate them like stealing clothes and dumping them in public places. Private team of vigilantes. Nice. My biggest problem with the bananas disparity we have right now is the extravagant, yes, but totally unoriginal boring ways the rich spend their chews. Ducking huge boats and houses and chews, who cares? If I had an income where I could spend 10 million on weirdness and still live like a sultan you better believe you'd be driving up north and suddenly there's huge a robot spider with a baby's face walking over the trees and pleading loudly has anyone seen my mommy? I'm lost, please I want my mommy. The fact that nobody has been in a submersible on a scene sea expedition and stumbled across a deep sea pleasure dome with guard dolphins with lasers on their heads is, to me, an absolute dragon proof that wealth is wasted on the wealthy. If we both end up super rich, well split the hemispheres. It'll handle realism upgrades in whichever one you don't want. Or maybe well switch off annually so that we can leave each other some ridiculous surprises. I'm likewise disappointed in the lack of pointless weird stuff decorating our daily lives. I'd buy a Super Bowl lad slot on behalf of a small time charity or local business. I would buy all of the Super Bowl lad spots and then just not have them. Imagine the dust up if there were no commercial breaks for the NFL. Own personal sushi chef. I want a private chef, but an addition chef. Just for sushi is a phenomenal idea. Triple ply toilet paper. I'm a two ply guy now. I had an avocado toast once. Been single ply ever since. So much regret. I asked my buddy, who was the drummer in our band in high school, this question a while ago. He said he'd buy out a stadium or arena for a night and pay for fans to fill the venue. We would be the headlining act. After the opening band, the stage would be filled with all sorts of expensive instruments, including ones neither of us know how to play, 
Our set would consist not of actual songs, but us just jamming and playing random crap completely unrehearsed for 2 hours, while the pro backing band we hired does anything they can to make our cacophony sound like actual music. We would have full production value for a headlining band, including hundreds of lights, pyrotechnics, giant video screens, lasers, fog, etc. The fans would cheer and go crazy after each song. We would play an encore which might be a halfway payable cover of Smells Like Teen Spirit or Living on a Prayer. He would then pay some reporters to write flattering pieces about us, but only enough that half the reviews of the show made it sound like the best performance ever, and the other half were real reviews of this mind-bogglingly stupid waste of time and money, and pretty soon you would end up with real fans. Custom made tailored clothing. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to wear every day, because I know what I'm going to look like, and they always have my size. Maybe some days I want to go business causal or maybe some days I want to go full on wizard in robes. The possibilities are limitless. I would definitely hire a 40 year old MILF to wear a business suit, put her hands on her hips, and tell me that she is disappointed with me, but will have sex with me anyway. Actually, I bet that is cheap enough that I can afford that right now. How old are you? For interest's sake. I'd pay someone to follow me around and give me dirty looks every time I try to eat something unhealthy. Just get married. Artisanal electricity. Electricity just tastes better when you know it's made the old fashioned way. I would pay random homeless guys to chis on the doorsteps of my enemies every morning. I mean you don't have to be rich to do that. I'd pay hundreds of workers to clean up litter and keep an eye out in the streets of my city. I'd dress them in jumpsuits with epaulettes. At first I thinking this was about cat litter and was so on board. How do they get it everywhere? I would hire someone to scratch and tickle my back anytime I wanted it. Yup, I know it's weird. It's my favorite thing and I never get it. When my dogs snuggle my back, I almost cry, and I'm instantly calmed. People ask what the point of marriage is. This is the point of marriage. I'll give my wife anything she wants, as long as the scratches never stop free flowing. And when you're married you can upgrade to head scratches slash full body scratches. Let me just tell you that the inner thigh is somewhere that you need to have scratched. It's amazing. Also ankles are great. After wearing socks all day, back of the neck is another sweet spot. If there is one thing that should motivate you to find a partner, it is this. Sex be damned. I'd have a bar at my house with my own private bartender. Basically I'd pay someone to just be there to make me or my company a drink whenever they are on duty. Would be a pretty sweet gig for them, since they could be on their phones or watch TV, or whatever, just make sure to have a drink ready when I ask for it. Why stop there? If you're going to pay someone to always be there to make you drinks, go all in on a clakily trained butler. You get that, and so much more. Mail delivered to your armchair on a silver platter? Check. Fresh breakfast of your preference every morning? Check. Perfectly mixed cocktails for you and your guests? Check. Winra, you wouldn't dare. Landscaping. I ducking hate weeding and mulching. Such a pain in the A. I would like an Alfred, please. This is so polite. I love it. Hire SpaceX to fly a secret mission to Mars, a small robot rover that must sneak up to curiosity and plant some junk around, some empty pop cans, and a dinosaur skull maybe. Also have spy cams installed at NASA and monitor their reaction. Why are you the way that you are? Indie game development. And any kind of local multiplayer game. I know I could be doing important stuff like helping Africa. But I'm a little bit evil. On that note, I have a great game idea, Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's, but instead of haunted robots, you get scared by a chocolate bar shaped like a frog. I'd pay extra for pre-shelled pistachios. I hate pre-shelled. I grab a handful, eat them, then realize that the deshelling was like 90% of the fun. Also, for whatever reason, they just taste way better when you had to work to open them. I would legit pay someone several hundred dollars to wash my dishes after dinner every day. Laundry 100%. I hate washing and ironing. 
I'd hire someone to shave my head and face every morning. Never quite like how it works out when I do it myself versus going to my barber. I would pay video game companies to update the games in ways the community wants it and pay for sequels that everyone wants that's technically a service right. To bomb Mars with old USS or nuclear bombs every week to look on it in my telescope. Duck that, bomb the moon so everyone can see. I think it was Doug Stanhope who said that the ultra rich have all the money in the world and can do whatever they want meaning they have already gotten bored of things that we can't even imagine. He then goes on about paying people to fly in immaculate boys from a hitherto unheard of tribe to their mansions so they can cover them in the finest talcs and spank them but once the talc has gone they toss the child aside and order a new one. I've read and reread this like 8 times and all I have to say is what is wrong with people. Hire a personal barber to come to my house to cut my hair. This way, I'd avoid making incredibly awkward small talk, which, for some reason, is not only acceptable, but expected at the barber shop, which is truly awful for those who are more introverted. I'd also be able to avoid the anxiety of explaining how I want my hair cut and the ensuing hatred of said haircut. So, yay, it hire my own personal barber whose job is to, 1, come to my house, so I don't have to travel to a barber shop, 2, learn and memorize how I like my hair to be cut, and, 3, not talk, I'm a simple man. When my brother was little, he was utterly convinced that a truck full of sod was rich people sending their lawn out to be mowed. That's super cute. Yahtube premium. Oh come on. Nobody ever needs that. I would hire someone to do domestic duties, dishes, house cleaning, laundry, landscaping. Sounds simple, but it would be so nice to have a well kept house and a lot more free time. I'd rent Liechtenstein. Yes that's a country. Yes you can rent it. I would walk around wrecking stuff like I've always wanted to. It's 70, 000 dollars a day, I think. Got any other ideas? Rent it continuously and turn it into a base for your private military corporation come country, Metal Gear style. A driver for my parents. I'd pay about 10 photographers to follow me around. Please please, no more pictures. Wait, here's my better side. I'd buy this one, 220 bottle of water I found earlier. It's marked as collection. Only so the service would be bringing this person's location to me. Okay but why has it got 5 bids? I'd fund some studios and nice place to stay for struggling manga and anime artist as a sort of apology for watching anime and reading manga from pirate websites. I know it's wrong but I can't help it hopefully this will be enough to forgive my sins. I would probably hire my video game counselor, someone who picks games for me, based on the ones I really liked. Shoot, if you priced that as a service people could subscribe to, like, say, $20 for an hour, you screenshot your Steam history, send it to your game counselor, talk with them about which games you love for like 45 minutes of the hour, they ask questions, great conversation, they send you a list of wrecks. Next hour, they build on the previous hour's data to refine your profile further, and hey, with $20 for an hour of talking and 15 minutes or so of checking preferences against an algorithm, it would work out to about $17 an hour for the counselors. Yeah, you could afford a lot of stuff on this list with that business model. Tip literally everyone a decent amount, look, everyone helps the world function and just because you only work in food or only work as a bus driver doesn't mean you're not appreciated. If we didn't have people working in fast food, there would be no way I could just go out and get food when I don't feel like cooking and bus drivers help tons of people who can't drive get from A to B. I know I sound like any company higher up everywhere but just know that no matter what job you're doing. You're yeah, making some owns life easier, no matter how much more wealthy or whatever they are when compared to you. An interior decorator. Go around the world and collect all those abandoned steam engines and start my of train collection and restoration group. That's kind of a cool idea. Healthcare. Laughs in European. 
I would build a 3,000 square foot guest house behind my mansion to solely house a personal chef and personal trainer. Having a structured meal plan and workout regimen every day without having to think about it would be amazing. Deleted. Living on a mountain top with helicopter access, only and a cool underground bunker with its own ecosystem. Gay porn studios that produce high quality movies with engaging plots and talented actors, and then everyone ducks. When I was a kid, what I wanted to do was hire my enemies to do degrading menial jobs, but pay them enough that they'd willingly put up with it. Today, I'm not really sure what my answer would be. If someone ruins my sleep I will send John Wick to punish them. Wouldn't work in my neighborhood, it's mostly dogs barking. Ed pay my taxes. Whoa what there. That's crazy talk. You took things too far. I would fly by private plane. I love to travel, but flying commercial airlines is harder because I'm disabled. Getting searched at SAD is uncomfortable, and I'm uncomfortable when strangers are watching me transfer into a seat. I would buy every streaming service. I'd even pay for cable. I don't know. Probably give Flint residents clean drinking water. I would rent storage space and put all the useless crap there. So much more space would be available. Hire people to fix up every single issue on the house. I'm not a think big type of person. I live in a 50 year old house that needs about dollar sign 100k of renovations to be legally sellable. Not having that bullcrap hanging over me would be the biggest load off my mind. I don't want to sell, but fixed everything would just be awesome. Not a service, but I want a tower. Not some skyscraper, but like a wizard's tower somewhere in a nice rural area with a great view. Oh my. You watched until the end? That's ducking awesome dude. Thanks for watching.